Evacuation at LaGuardia Airport. A retired New York City police officer is shot and killed. New warnings at New Jersey beaches following three drownings yesterday. You'll hear from a victim of a series of dart attacks on Long Island and the wild celebration at the Citadel after the first female cadet drops out. Channel 2 News is next. This is Channel 2 News at 11. Two major breaking stories tonight. An evacuation at LaGuardia Airport following a bomb threat. And a former New York City police officer is shot and killed by bandits. Good evening. I'm Dana Tyler. And I'm John Johnson. We begin with a deadly attack on the former New York City police officer. He was gunned down tonight in the Bronx, and the killers are still on the loose. Channel 2's Mike Taibbi is live at Jacoby Hospital with the latest. What can you tell us, Mike? Well, John, I just talked again to the DCPI Deputy Commissioner for Public Information. They are still not releasing the name of the dead retired officer because they're waiting for an in-person notification of his wife uh, that this happened. They haven't made the her yet. What they, have, they won't even say, by the way, how long ago it was that he retired or his age or any other details about him. What we do know is that he behaved tonight the way any active cop would. He tried to break up a crime in progress, and those efforts cost him his life. The New Hope Grocery is one of the genial meeting places in this corner of Williamsbridge, a relatively quiet Bronx neighborhood. But this intersection, Laconia Avenue and 213th Street, exploded with the sounds of gunshots tonight, and the result was the death of a would-be hero. It was 6.25 at night. A game of dominoes was going on in the back of the store. Then, according to witnesses, two suspects walked in and announced, this is a stick-up. What they didn't know when they made that announcement was that one of the other men in the store was a retired New York City police officer. The suspects fired off several shots after their announcement, and when the retired cop heard the shots, he pulled his own off-duty revolver, and there was an exchange of gunfire. In that exchange, some, some shots went off. Uh, in the process of that, and it was followed outside, the uh, retired member of the service was found uh, in his car, laying down in his car with uh, a bullet wound to the side. When the victim was removed from the front seat of his car, he'd apparently also suffered cardiac arrest. He was brought to Bronx Jacoby Hospital's emergency room, but efforts to revive him failed. Word spread quickly that he died. Two women told us the victim was known affectionately in the neighborhood as Pops, and that given any opportunity, he